Do you want to own a piece of history? Well, now you can. Let's get it. I'm built for it, nigga. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy DJ Skinless here and we're back with another video. For this one we're going to break down the recent news that the car that Tupac Shakur was murdered in is up for sale. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so we're on the TupacLegacy.net website and the title reads 1.75 million for the car that Tupac Shakur was shot in. Tupac was shot through Marion Shook Knight's car in 1996 after watching a Las Vegas boxing match. The car has been repaired and there are no bullet holes in the doors. Shook Knight, the BMW owner, is currently in prison after running over a man in 2015. In 1996, Tupac Shakur and Suge Knight watched a boxing match at a casino in Las Vegas, the MGM Grand. After the match, Tupac and Suge got in their car and took off to Club 662. And right here you got the last picture of Tupac taken while he was alive. Witnesses confirmed that a white Cadillac pulled up alongside the black BMW and opened fire. Shakur was shot in the chest, thigh, and arm and was taken to the hospital, where he died six days later. Even though there are numerous theories about the shooter's identity, police never discovered who shot Tupac, which could have been Orlando Anderson or his uncle, Keefe D. After the killing, Las Vegas police impounded the BMW that Tupac Shakur was shot dead in and was sold in an auction. Since then, the BMW has several owners, but the last one fully restored it, fixing all the bullet holes. The only reminder of the car's history is a small indentation on one of the doors. In 2018, the car appeared on Pawn Stars, a television series show on the History Channel. And back then it was priced for $1.5 million. And currently the BMW is up for auction by the Celebrity Cars Las Vegas for $1.75 million. And when you buy this car, it'll come along with documentation. A certificate showing it had been purchased by Death Row Records and Suge Knight will be provided to the new owner. And this also says that interested buyers will be prepared to put down a $20,000 refundable deposit. This also goes on to say that it has 121,000 miles on the clock and is in great condition. So I'm kind of in the middle ground here whether I think this is okay or not. Because on one hand, as a collector, I can see the value in it that someone wants to put this in a museum or something along the lines of that. But for this car to get fully restored, it seems like someone's going to end up driving it. Why would you want to drive a car that Tupac got shot in and then later died? Now, obviously, they probably restored it because nobody would buy a car with bullet holes and blood all over it. So that makes sense, too. But I feel like this car should be in the museum, just like the JFK cars in the museum. So I think that would be great to have in a museum somewhere where onlookers and just regular tourists can come around and see it. But I don't really see the value in buying this to just drive it around and showboat. Drop your comments below whether you think that someone should actually buy this item or if you think it should be in a museum or do you think it should have been destroyed 20 years ago. Drop your comments below. This is DJ Skinless signing out. Peace out.